of uh, oh, it's, it's funny German owned a uh, weapon. Is the, name of the, <laughs> Wepa, is the name of the company has stockpiled Wepa. an extra 600 <laughs> tons of finished product or about three and a half million rolls in a UK warehouse and the UK probably drops about 600 tons of finished product <laughs> anti-colonialist, anti-racist, unabashedly feminist, and poignantly diverse. Welcome to a very special episode 37 of The Unmonetizables, the official podcast for the Fort Chronicles, the dumbest search for intelligence, and steps us a podcast to the Indie Scots Network's Scots with Soul podcast. My name is Captain Privilege, and with me through no choice of their own are Dr. Darkseid, uh, yep. And Grandmaster Tech. Welcome Keep... to Camp Privilege. How dare you? That was my impersonation of someone else. No, I'm saying welcome to Camp Privilege, you know, tents and... Uh, to the ranch! And stuff like that, you know? <laughs> uh, if you're unaware, folks, this is the only show in the galaxy that expertly dissects your primitive planet's curatable culture, a.k.a. the trending tat of the week. Lately it's needed a chainsaw rather than a scalpel, but... And kicking us off... <laughs> A dev at GDC blames Gamergate for the Christchurch shootings. What's Everybody GDC? blames Gamergate. What's GDC? Yeah. Really? For, for the uninitiated. Game, games developer conference. Obviously. Okay, yeah, only okay. one of the biggest conferences on the go. You know, it's for, for the biggest For medium. people that don't play games. Yeah. GDC yeah, ba- basically, games yeah. developers okay. conference. Yeah. Right. Right. Everyone knows. Right. Okay. okay. It's Pre- a big thing. Yeah, pretty much anything that comes out at the moment they'll blame on computer games like computer games cause violent tendencies um yeah if that if that you want to try and ban computer games then you need to ban sports the rape the, <laughs> the try <trying>. yeah <laughs> so there well, are yeah. some exceptions that you're like That's whoa true. man That's true. okay so what was the reasoning but, behind it well uh meg j ants uh and i don't really care from butchering that name because fuck that but basically got up and started virtue signaling what i said at the top of the podcast that you know, I find it funny. The same year that the IGF gave an award to a game that was anti blah 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 blah, and made by an Indian woman, <laughs> aka her, uh, was the same year that Gamergate was a thing, a blah 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 blah, which has culminated in the fuck of the blah 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 blah. Basically, saying Gamergate is the reason why someone went and shot a bunch of Muslims. Thank you, George. Like and, a lot of people uh, argue on this planet. There are millions of people that play things like Call of Duty, Ark, Minecraft, yeah, there's so racing many other games. violent games. Exactly, there, like, I mean, and only a very games. small percentage <laughs> have actually committed any violent acts. So that says more about their personality. Mental health is the, the real issue, right? Yeah. Not the games. Right? Gu- guaranteed, they all <laughs> stop giving bread. your games to three-year-olds. Well, guaranteed, they all <laughs> ate bread, so it's bread to. Play. Oh yeah, it must be bread. You know oh oh no, but now they're picking on coffee and tea, hot coffee and tea now. Guaranteed, there's a so, chance that you know. kid seen that, uh, that that guy seen Barney the dinosaur at some point. Exactly. Did, hey, anybody that saw Mister Bobby in the UK back in the nineties? Computer, ga- computer games aside, even if you had extreme political views, right? There, yeah. There's loads of people out there with really right wing or left wing extreme political views that don't go out and kill people. Right? Yet. They, like, because you're an extremist doesn't mean that you need to go and kill people. Exactly. You could like, be an extreme pacifist. That, that going killing people is a mental health problem. <laughs> yeah. like, what's an extreme pacifist? <laughs> I abhor anything and everything that abhor. is to do with violence, even on, though to abhor it is a form of violence. On, on the subject so of the, themselves. Yeah. On exactly. the subject of the Christ church. To the point where they hurt ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Facebook. <laughs> they don't have the energy to do it. Sorry. <laughs> the, like, what was the, the real problem with what happened there was Facebook and and allowing that stream going on for seventeen minutes. Well, see, the, and, that's and then yeah. and well, apparently, uh, one video of the Christchurch massacre was uploaded to YouTube every second. Yeah. Jeez. Like exactly. YouTube is having a real problem, like stopping mm-hmm. people uploading and this content. This is a, this is a, this is one of the biggest problems of shit. I mean, if you think about it this way, right? Like you said, putting the games aside, right? There is more content available to watch in video form, mm-hmm. or even listen to in like podcasts and stuff like that. That are way, way more violent than playing like fucking Call of Duty or yeah. something but like what that. What was seriously. Facebook's excuse? Oh, Facebook, Facebook's anything. excuse 
was it admits its AI failed to flag the New York terror attack, uh, the New York, the New Zealand terror attack live stream, and it nobody, and flag nobody it. flagged it. Yeah, no, that's the other problem, right? Nobody flags that shit because if you think about it, right, people are either stuck in complete disbelief and don't know what the fuck to do, mm. just total shock, or they're like, "Holy shit, this is happening right now! I gotta watch this," or they're like, <coughs> "Check this out," you know. So, so those three. Interestingly, Luke Radowski yeah. said that he was sent the link and sat and watched it, but nobody flagged it. Exactly. I can't it believe the, the eh? responsible people out there, <clears throat> Luke Radowski, exactly. and uh, like nobody flagged it. Mm. That's really shocking. But the question is, how many people recorded it? Well, there, there's already plenty several. of people recorded it. No, no, but that's it, what right? I mean. Right. Uh, yeah, exactly. Right. Everywhere. Every I've seen sing- it, but... How many people recorded the recording of the recording of the recording? You know what I mean? Whenever right. they saw yeah, so that's video, what yeah. the real problem isn't with the social media and yeah. the, the AI. It's maybe with this negative exactly. side of society that just the, 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 the loves to indulge in the, this. Well, this is horror, the problem. Like, it's actually a psychological problem because this society has become so polarized with a no, nothing negative that the dark side. The humanity wants to try and explore itself a bit until there's meaning, a live terror attack going on, and oh, yeah, meaning oh, that that dark side has no release outlet. Uh, well, it, it just you look at horror out. films nowadays, that, you know, they're not really as bad as no, no, exactly. You know, like that. Like, so, you, I, I, not, totally, I totally agree with what you're saying that there's no outlet, yeah, nowadays, because we're that kind of desensitized to like horror films, yeah, but it? it's also the restrictions that are put on us, we can't, we can't allow that little bit of that dark side to come out in a, a sort of more productive way like anymore. Me. Like, that's my name. Like, like I know that's your name. Every time I say dark side, you got a mental boner. You know what I mean? It's ridiculous. Yeah, let's bring it back. I want to hate on this chick because she was so smug and annoying, right? Uh, oh. Did we just co-op your whole conversation there? Right? No, not really. Just uh, it was quite enjoyable Diverged. to see something uh, get, get fucking fired in a bit. Diverse, don't say the good word. I can't, I can't believe somebody came up with the whole diversity thing in the all this. I know, thing. right? <laughs> yeah, but that's a, the, the thing. She's literally standing on the fucking bodies to start virtue signaling hey. about fucking how her game's so diverse, but yeah. people are fucking. Remember the problem the fact that this game, was really. yeah, this was disseminated to the whole world for it to watch. Maybe that's one of the problems, not the like social political problems with it like that yeah, it's gives a fuck weird, it's yeah. a horror film that got that got sent to loads of kids man Holy exactly God. like that's probably but, like, but one, right? you know it's, you know youtube has already admitted it's got a massive pedophile ring problem so there's going to be that as well you know what i mean because you got one dark side of humanity there's going to be many other dark side of humanity they'll just propagate just because themselves you really said easily that, that's going to happen though it's your fault yeah YouTube already made it happen. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't need to do anything. <laughs> you just sit back and let the world burn, basically. Right. Anyway, enough about yeah. kids getting fucked. Who's really getting fucked here are the gamers, okay? <laughs> As Google announces a streaming platform. Yeah. Console, not console, but here's a fucking remote control anyway. Yeah. Stadia. Right, we, knew, love, this we yeah. knew this was coming. We knew this was coming at some point. I, right? do, I do love their... I'm like, surprised it was Google, though. Yeah, well, I love the statistics really? on it. Yeah. I love yeah. it. I th- I thought it was going to be uh, Xbox or PlayStation that was going yeah. to do this, but they've Google's got in there first. Well, yeah. and Xbox and now people... has done this, and so did PS4, but it's shit yeah. versions yeah. because yeah. no one's got internet to run it. Yeah, well, that, that's, that's it. it. It's all based yeah. on the infrastructure, and Google has uh, the infrastructure. Google, Google based. Well, it's not even just Google that. Google can have the infrastructure at once. I've not got the fucking internet uh, for 4K, 60 FPS. But if you think about it this way, this is Google's way to try and force themselves into the commercial hardware market. Google will supply a better system for lines. They're pixel phones, they're already there. It's via Google yeah. Chrome, but basically what it is is uh, you can play games anywhere and everywhere. But with that comes a huge mind. caveat. And what the the major discussion that's actually become to fruition is the, oh shit, hold on, we've kind of already cut the cord. And now one of your biggest organisations on the planet is literally just like, oh, come stream all your games here. Yeah. So you don't own a physical copy. You own no fucking yeah. rights to that game, that service at all. No, you just pay monthly yeah. for it. 
the, well, the, thing, the things I don't like about away. it are the obvious uh, data mining that's going to go on. The yeah. obvious. Oh, what, happen- what happens? What happens if the net goes yeah. down? The net goes well, down. Uh, the, the net goes down. You're screwed. Uh, you can't play the game. Yeah, you're going to get fucking digital uh, long. You keep talking um, about data mining and so forth. There's a couple much. of things that they want to put in place, and it's not just Google. It's PlayStation, Xbox is want to put in place as well. It's basically it's we're getting too technical. You log into a session. So that it's like you're logging into a remote computer, and that's your own computer. Yeah. So if your internet cuts out, that computer's still running, but because you've lost connection, it will basically freeze. Oh, well, so it won't be yeah. complete standby. But effectively, it's the same. Your internet yeah. cut. You're not playing again. Exactly. Well, that's, that's, that's off the table. That's no fucking you know? joke here. Multiplayer games will be off the table. But four K my ass <laughs> for at least the first couple of years. This so that's for people with up, that's like, all. That's all. There's going to be all. There's going to be is multiplayer. Though. you're not going to be able to sit and play a game. Well, yourself. games and services, yeah, are, are well, edging more more towards the future. But you cannot play a games and fucking service live uh, PvP or any kind of online game on that. No, at any right. standard range of internet, the lag. Would well, be fucking. This is, what, this is one of the things. This yeah, one of the latency things about. is going to be a yeah, big problem. But this is, this is one of the things they're talking about, right? Latency. Um, it'll be fucking yesterday. Well, hmm. that's, like I say, that's one of the things they're talking about is the fact that, you know, there are a lot of people on the planet that have a connection high enough to be able to run it. You're talking like 100 meg is perfect. You could probably do it if it's stable enough. But they're basically saying the vast majority of people can't even get 8 meg. Let alone the twenty to twenty five that would be required to run it. In the world, yeah, Yeah. Yeah. in the world. But this is only being launched in North America and Europe. But even North America, Japan isn't getting it. Yeah, I know. South Korea isn't getting it. The stats. Those people are going to be raging, especially when where where a lot of the games in the world come from, Japan. Yeah, but the problem is. So the question of whether those games are even going to be launched in this. But the problem is the stats that they also released were based on North America as well. And they still say that the vast majority of North Americans can't get 20 meg. They can get up to like 15, but it needs at least 25 meg to be able to run. This is for 4K. Rate. But, but a, lot of people even don't, a, lot even, a lot of people don't even have 4K TVs yet. So yeah. They're going to be at the max uh, 1080p. But Aye, it's, but right it's still because they're set the data up rate. for next time because it could, they're ready to go to 8K when it comes to Yeah, exactly. To it. And 1 billion FPS or yeah. some shit. <laughs> like the, the problem is. The problem is. <laughs> Crazy, yeah. Like, it it may not be technologically proven, right? But anybody that has a reasonably decent connection, the lower your connection is, the more fucking unstable it is. Mm. Uh, like, they they did mean, some tests, geez. and apparently, you know, the, the tests were success, but there's a lot of people that said that they were suffering lag and all yeah, sorts. Yeah, exactly. Like, um, you know, the old connection... The, the old connection we were running on, 76 meg, mm. right? That was pretty solid. Yeah. Then we went to the other 76 meg connection, and it was dropping like hell. We couldn't even stream to Twitch. Mm. It was laggy, glitchy. You know what I mean? So it doesn't even matter really what it is. It, it's, you did, know, you could have a 150 meg connection, and your line is crap. Did, it's like digital money. Do, do you want, like, cash, or do you want digital money? And then the net goes down. Like, you know, it's, for me, it's the yeah. same. I'd rather have a hard copy of a fucking game yeah. so I can put it on, I can play it if I want. Exactly. You know, I, don't, I don't need to worry about yeah, the internet going I, down. I don't mind having digital copies that are downloaded to the console or the, the desktop or whatever, you know, but the ones I hate are that, oh no, you must be connected to online to be yeah, able to play. Even if it's a physical copy, we're almost too you late. need to be connected we're online. Almost like, too late. Yeah. If you've got snapped up the best at yeah. CEX already for exactly. PS2, PS3, PS1s. And oh, you're, well, half of them you'll not be able to play either because, yeah, because half of them, PS3, yeah. PS3 well, had no. updates. I, but you can still play them without yeah, but, the update. No, but fun. the thing is, half the PS3 games are also you need to be connected to PSN. I half state, of them bullshit yeah no, it's, I actually state, it's states half. on the back when starting the game up you must be connected to PSN for the initial start don't lie to me. <laughs> you that'll be I mean. for your fucking uh, that'll be for your trophies and shit for your yeah actual... exactly but it's hard coded into the game nah. it, it's fucking like you know what I mean? You cannot start the fucking game. It's like, oh, you need to connect to PSN. The, the, the real issue here, player. right, is, uh, like, is this going to be, like, you pay for a game? Or is this going to, like, there, a lot of them are saying this is going to be a Netflix-style yeah, like block, uh, block, you block, pay, uh, subscription. Yeah. You Welcome pay so much, right, for right? the internet. But uh, Netflix, right, famously, yeah. uh, you, you pay the subscription and there's no advertising yeah. on Netflix. Exactly. Google, however... 
is fundamentally an advertising yep. company. That's what it's whole exactly uh, uh, or alphabet. Google yeah, we said before Alphabet, time. right? It's the crux of Alphabet is Google. Yeah. And Google is fundamentally an, an advertising company. So what and they've just been fined this week uh one point two eight billion pounds by the EU for um blocking rival online search advertisers, right? Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> but so you're gonna be in the middle of playing your game. Yeah. <laughs> And Bing. not that the internet connection is going to go down, ad. but there's going to be a big pop up ad. Right, like, right in the middle of that battle, <laughs> right in front of that headshot. <laughs> um, no, here, here's another wee bit of the argument for you against this shit. It's a battle royale right. to get past all the motherfucking yeah. adverts. Another little question for Google, and quite a lot of people have actually brought this one up as well. What about microtransactions? Who owns them? You bought Google. a product. That's it. You bought a product on a game. They'll be buying a copy. Right, you don't have a physical right. copy of that. You've bought that product on your account, mm. but your account is played from the Google streaming servers. Think Rockstar, Take Two are getting that money. No, no. You know it's what I mean? Google. Google so get the, they the get other the, the lion's share of that, and they're a new portion of But the other question is, right? You've got, let's say, like playing on Steam. Your Steam account gets hacked or gets destroyed or whatever. You lost every single one of your games. Yeah, right? it's quite similar in the way. No. Steam can go back and check what games you had, and there's a potential chance of being able to give you those games back with a new account, as long as there's evidence. Yeah. So, presumably, Google would be able to do something similar. But there are a lot of occasions where you're like, so, well, would you be able to track all those microtransactions? Would you be able to track all those purchase games? Would you be able they, to track they, all they these subscriptions? They track every word that you right? say. They probably, yeah. So they probably track So them. there's a lot of data there for them to search <laughs> through, along with their own advertising and shit that they're putting in. Oh, uh, there's that pop-up ad that came up just before he bought that microtransaction, so we can't actually see what he bought. Mm, sorry. You guys are just conspiracy <laughs> theorists. You know, it's no. nice to um, have someone listening. No, yeah. the, the, I mean, there's a lot of interesting things. Like You I, can be on uh, a social media platform and somebody else is playing that game and you just link click on the link and boom you're Steam, playing it it's Steam, interesting uh, it. Steam have had that for god knows how long PlayStation yeah, started doing that with PS4 uh, Google's saying this will be seamless though you'll just be like what? straight in Steam Steam is seamless apparently hmm. yeah, and you can even join into the, the current session that they're playing at that point in time hmm. and it'll automatically put you into Observer or into the actual game so you know what I mean it's like I don't know what it is for some reason it seems like when they're talking about this, it's like, oh, new, brand new, it's going to happen. It's, it's the, you know, it's the pinnacle. It's the first it's time that's never been done. Me, no, no. No, they're, they're even talking it's about not. Xbox and PlayStation. They're, 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 oh, they're, they're, they're going to be dead this now. for generations. Yeah. PlayStation's fucking the best, all right? Get down with the master race, the PC master race, okay? The master <laughs> beta race. Like, no chance. What would Google runs on? Fucking, I <laughs> a PC exactly. That's it's, who I blame. Xbox, but you kind of blame uh, Google. Microsoft, Sony, fucking uh, Google, everything. They all run on. Uh, well, actually, technically, they all run on Linux servers. Yeah, fucking dork. Probably. Shut up and let me segue. Google are taking their best shot, but someone who didn't take <laughs> his best shot was the guy who tried to rob Adam from No Jumper on the No Jumper podcast live. Do you see this clip? No. Straight up, dude just runs in on them in the middle of talking about fucking Shane Dawson and the Jizzy Cat, which we won't speak about. In the middle of the studio? Yeah, live on stream. Yeah. Like, they got food delivered, and they still build, they're pretty much like, that is the only gap in their security. While the guy was turning his back to put the food in the door, some dude just rushed the door, burst out of the podcast, and started waving a gun in his face. Did the guy know what was in there? Or who yeah, was in there? Everyone yeah, in the studio yeah. was, unfortunately. Yeah, he's kind of docks in that sense, but I they fucking so he ran in, starts waving the gun out, gun about sure. shouting like motherfucker, motherfucker, and then the next thing he kind of fends him off and it becomes obvious the guy's no well, not obvious, but takes their chance because he's not gonna shoot. And scuffle ensues off camera, and next thing you hear like he's knocked the fuck out, that's him out. <laughs> the guy behind them shouting like motherfucker I was just about to shoot you man what the fuck so he's tackled up in the mm. ground he's made how, just like how, kicking him in the face how big is no jumper he's about is it no no six, not the guy <laughs> the podcast like how big oh, is his podcast oh, it's it's quite really big, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. so this was legit yeah man 
It mm. looks kind of, it does look kind of this dodgy. Wasn't on my because point. he's sitting there and then the mm. guy runs in and for a split second he's almost like <laughs> but it, it's the pure f- when you hear him in the interview afterwards, uh on Keem, he was like, I just had off. I, I didn't care what was going on. Because I was looking up and my mates behind them were just like in shock. And he's like, nah, surely mm. this is a bam up because the doors are shut. And then the next thing he's like, oh no, this guy's actually got a gun. And he's like, oh shit, he's no shooting. Fuck it. Right. So they managed to get him and down him. Right. But, we need to mm. have a discussion later about security. Um, <laughs> That's sad. We're in space. <laughs> That's sad, don't worry about it. You know what I mean? You know, so there's only two countries in the world that really... break in to space. Not real. No one's coming tap me yeah. space doors and things. Yeah, mm-hmm. no, the, the airlocks haven't worked for years. That's, yeah. So. But anyway, speaking of folk getting knocked out, he's not the only one getting knocked out. Is this official? T-Series has passed. Oh, pie. come on. For the third fuck, time. I mean, yeah, yeah, I'm sick of hearing this. I'm oh, sorry. It's just real this time, you guys. It's, oh, it's like watching two, so two runners coming up to the fucking line and they're both like, oh, number five is ahead by a millimeter. No, no. Uh, it was like that for a while. It was touch and go. But uh, it would seem puts his fist his last bro. Yeah, you know why? Why? I don't know. Subscribe to PewDiePie. PewDiePie bang, bang. Okay. What? Did oh, Christ you Christ 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 had to come out uh, last weekend. You're not blaming apologize. Christ Church for T-Series beating Pits. Come on. Like, <laughs> how many people, ever growing population in the fact that it was inevitably going to be happening. How many people on the planet are going to turn around and go, ah, oh, I'm actually unsubscribing now because he said subscribe to PewDiePie well, before he they done started, it. You know they I mean? started making all sorts of links between yeah. PewDiePie and the right wing and stuff <laughs> yeah. in the same articles. Like. But you know what I mean? This is, this is what I'm saying. It's like <laughs> Articles, yeah. Yeah, you mean propaganda rags? I wouldn't call them propaganda oh, there, rags. That's one, too fancy a word. There's, there's one toilet con- paper. Uh, yeah. There's there's one conspiracy theory <laughs> that uh, actually like it was really dark as fuck. But the conspiracy theory basically went that the 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 producers of T series actually paid for the guy's fucking equipment. Oh, as yeah, long as you say subscribe to PewDiePie yeah, before you've fucking like, done like, it, and that's I'm like, fucking insane. Mm, okay. You know what? But in this world, I'm like. I wouldn't put it past someday. Oh, Holy come on, shit, that's, that's a bit. Well, I, I genuinely believe he was probably slightly more left leaning. I reckon he was probably a lot more left leaning, and this was his idea. He like, nah, get it right up the right. Yeah, probably. Spark things off. But Push things off. There's that's a good what he says. Yeah. Yeah. Right, oh my god. I, I would reckon he was either leaning more left if he wasn't some sort of fucking yeah. weird. Kind of agent, because it's funny how they were running drills that day, but we're not that type of podcast. Come on, guys, it's a different world we're living in, and I know conspiracy theories can run rampant, but this better not be going into a vibrator. One joke. that's maybe a little more, a little more legit these days, because it's got one of the biggest YouTubers behind it. I'm going to have to watch it and see what it's all about. Logan this Paul's is, flyer. I've got to say, another fucking Logan Paul thing in it. <laughs> Oh, if it's Jesus. not T series in that, it's Rick and Paul. <laughs> it, it's just boxes, uh, some shit, fifty yeah. minute, sitting at two point one million views. You, you were actually going to watch them for fifty minutes. That's because of people like you. Dog what? Of course he Flat did. He had, to jump, like he had, had to jump on some bandwagon, didn't he? What yeah. do you mean by people like me? <laughs> people, people like you that watch the Paul brothers. Uh, do you have any evidence for this? I do not list. I do not watch either Paul brothers. You've got more knowledge about them than anybody else on this shit. I, no, I watch people speaking about Paul Brothers. You probably, di- you probably downloaded it and re-uploaded like, it in case like, it got taken down. That, that's like being a that's like being a fan of a sports <laughs> team only because your mate is a fan of that team. And you don't actually watch them. You just kind of agree with what, what they're saying. Fucking YouTube yeah. channel, Captain <laughs> Captain Pauls. So God. what's it, what's his uh, uh, theory on flat Earth? And what what's it was his, giants? It was all giants. Real, man. It's oh, totally yeah, real. Of course, it is. he's like yeah. doing a documentary he had to investigate it. Mm. Yeah, because you know, about. like yeah. I've like, not seen the documentary yet. Like, there's already what like two documentaries on Netflix that are the flat Earth talking to the actual the Dude, so-called original too. flat Earther. All right, you know the I can't mind his name. I haven't watched all He's like the number one flat earther, right? I watched it the other day. Oh, flat Did, you, did yeah. you watch it? The thing I told you about, yeah, yeah, I amazing. watched it, and it's like it's an interestingly like, beyond, beyond the curve. It, yeah, that know. one. I. It's interesting that the the way it's put together. <laughs> And I can, your enthusiasm. I can see where they're going with it, but I'm still sitting back going, you know what? 
I, I, I really don't believe anybody. It was trying to be non-judgmental, yeah, and it was just it was kind of to. showing the community for exactly. what it was. And I'm so like, it's interesting. That was pretty cool the way it done it, but I'm, I'm still sitting there looking at it going, I respect your right to believe what you want to believe, but stop waggling your boss sack in my face, mate. You know, Whoa, it's way. just it's just what it's like. Yeah, it, get, know, it gets a bit like Scientology or something. Yeah, like, it's this like is, look, this is a proper cult. Scientology, you know, so you know. Yeah, it's that it's that whole. <laughs> you, it's sort of like, like somebody asks you, "Do you believe in flat Earth or round Earth?" And you go, "I believe in round Earth." And all of a sudden, like, <gasps> you believe in round Earth. You're wrong. It's flat. You should read up. You should learn the scriptures and shit. And you're like, <laughs> the scriptures. You're no, like, mate, seriously. Point. My opinion is my opinion. Go back off, eh? The, the appropriate response chill. is, I am a ball Earth skeptic. Look, like my my belly is round. Therefore, I believe in a round Earth. You know, That's so. Not, <laughs> Refer to your belly as Earth. Ooh. I don't know. It's got its own gravitational field at this oh, point. Oh, what's, what, what's the firmament? I don't want to know. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. When somebody asks me what the belt line, what belt size am, I just say the equator. You know. <laughs> sake. Moving swiftly on, getting lines to an ever more uh, developing. Yeah, that part Sorry, of the man. show. <laughs> <laughs> Where I get to talk about what I'm doing, but this too. Let's hear to that then. What, what are you doing? What what, what, you never tell us what you're yeah, doing. Yeah, you go first. Yeah. What, can I go first this week? Guys? Yeah, you can go fucking first this week. Just it's a really honor uh, to be the uh, anti colonialist, anti racist. You don't uh, get an award or anything. Oh, come on. Uh, yeah, <laughs> fucking know what I watched The Umbrella Academy. Oh, it's the umbrella. Oh, is, oh, is this one of your uh, special yeah. anime series? No, no, no not quite. <laughs> I don't want no, to know what the umbrella I haven't no, watched it yet, but at least I know what it's about. It's, it's, it's a live about. action TV show based on the Dark Horse comics of the same name, yeah. The Umbrella Academy. And it was good. It's kind of like a Watchmen meets X Men kind of take. Oh, yeah. uh, less about the uh, actual power so to speak more than more about the, 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 the characters. It's a dramatic it's, version of X Men. weird philanthropist guy. Who's like an inventor and a fucking you know like adventurer, like old, old ass guy adopts these seven babies that are all born on the same day, at the same exact time. But it turns out like they were all some sort of weird. Sounds like some sci-fi or something. movie. Oh, or something. Uh, 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 so like he, but then he, he, he yeah. adopts all of them and raises them. But he's like running experiments on them and training them up to be some yeah. weird fucking superhero what's the, vigilantes. What's, what's the movie when all the little kids in the town all have blonde hair and blue eyes? What you mean, like, Children of the Children Corn? Children of the Corn. Yeah, it's like yeah. something like that, yeah. right? It's like, that was actually it's, real. Well, it's it's real. It's real. Good vibes about yeah, it because, yeah. like, although some of the acting and casting is quite like a bit questionable, uh, it feels very much lifted straight from the yeah. comic. Like yeah. I've only read the comic and I'm like, oh no, this is fucking well shot well well wrote like what was it there was like two choices on Netflix the other night it was that or Lost in Space and I can tell you which one I didn't pick mm. so I sat and watched like some of the first episode of that one yeah. and you know I was like nah, I'm too tired for this shit but it was still felt alright it's interesting you know? because it's just the way it's painted it yeah. I like it, it all, they, they, they were so all numbered like, right. they weren't given names they were numbered yeah it's, it's shot like way into their lives, but then you're getting flashbacks to each and every one of their childhoods and how it was fucked up being brought up by this crazy old dude that didn't give them any love, but just ran experiments on them and ran drills. And Today, shit. children, we're going to find out how your minds work. Yeah, to the so, electrocution room! But uh, other than that, just been working on this hype CW chat. Gonna ring in Gangpin. So Don't say ring in. Can uh, rope him in, sorry. Uh, <laughs> So that we can uh, or beam them up, and we're going to record the uh, commentary to the first match. Viper, are you excited? Is Cody, my dog. Of course, I'm. Yeah, you, you're I'm not be excited. Hype, CW, mate. Yeah, you don't it's seem in very, the name. You don't seem very hypeful at the moment. What? Listen, you mean after a shift and after putting shelves up and suspending or using up all my sugar-free cola? I may be a little bit uh, <laughs> slower at this sugar of the day. Your sugar-free cola. I don't know what sounds wrong about that, but something <laughs> sounds wrong about sugar-free cola. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> don't say cola. Space beverage. Space beverage, yeah. Anyway, you're not getting out your recon, lads. Dark side. Um, I'll tell you what I've been up to in a minute, but um, delete Facebook now. 
WhatsApp co-founder accuses Mark Zuckerberg of trading privacy for revenue after allowing ads in the platform. What do you yeah. mean accuses the, him? Of the, course he was. The, C, the, the ex-CEO of WhatsApp who uh, stepped down after he sold it to Facebook has this week come out and... Uh, uh, he's came out. Yeah, he's came out and he's he's t- told everybody to delete Facebook because uh, and warns them that um they're they're that although Mark Zuckerberg says your privacy is his priority, it's not really. It's what, selling stuff. What what happens in the future when we're all cybernetically enhanced? Like Mark Zuckerberg? He, no, he's just cybernetically created. He's not enhanced. <laughs> he's just, you know, like, <laughs> like Facebook but, talks about they but they yeah, want to right? to wire and, and Facebook into your brain. Goes, yeah. Delete Facebook. So somebody that, does split that scene at the Matrix with the Jack the Bird. Yeah, exactly. like they like, end up deleting the brain. <laughs> yeah. Contacts list deleted. Memory's gone. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like um, a fucking gamer when they when they get fried in their own machine. <laughs> Exactly. And this comes a couple of days before Facebook account gets hacked. Uh, the passwords of millions of Facebook users were accessible by up to Facebook. twenty thousand employees of the social network. Uh, yeah, they kept uh, millions of people's uh, uh, passwords and unencrypted. Whoa, uh, that's weird. Blo- uh, block text, yeah. and uh, so all the employees up to two thousand and twelve could access everybody's uh, passwords. Whoa. Don't surprise me. That's, well that's just been discovered apparently Whoa. how's that just been discovered <laughs> like seven years later see, that, because that, you're well not passing that on after you leave facebook but see, by that, the way we could access it this is account. this is one of my biggest problems with all this shit right is okay in the first instance of finding out that all this crap was happening you know you're like oh right that's that's pretty big fucking news seven years later Oh, Mark Zuckerberg. Look, enough with fucking Zuckerberg, all right? We mm. know he's filthy. Just, like, <laughs> drop him. <laughs> <laughs> we know he's filthy. Just, like, drop him. I love it. And, the, and the, 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 this a few weeks after uh, more than 50 million users in the US have quit the site in the last two years over privacy 50 concerns. 50 million? That's a drop um, in the water. 15. More, 15. More, than, more. more than half of uh, young users, those between 12 and 34, have deleted it from their phone and no, yeah. lo- no longer yeah. use it. Yeah, these um, fucking youngins don't know. So, so it's it. official now. I think Facebook Snapchat. is the new MySpace and we're, we're living oh. in a, a post-Facebook environment. That's, that, that, a post-Facebook. You know, Ken, what? You know what, right? I'm supposed to post on I, Facebook. I'm calling this now, right? It. Ten years from now, ten years from now, when we've got the next platform that was like Facebook at that point in time, right? You're going to have people that are going... I just found my old Facebook profile from 10 years ago. Cha-ching. There it is. Let's do a challenge. Facebook profiles. Go. <laughs> you know, that's got to be the next freaking challenge. What was your 10-year-old Facebook profile look like? Oh, my God. Well, Facebook yeah, I mean, looked like a 10 year What was your last message that was posted on Facebook 10 years ago? Like, folk <laughs> did that with Bebo and shit like that now. Like, oh, my God, they just found my Bebo profile. Really, Who cares? <laughs> in 10 years' time, Facebook will literally just be all... One continuous melded and mixed in wall of it, everyone's pictures it'll just live be, from the feet just, of their eyeballs. You know, it'll just be a feed of adverts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it'll just be it'll We're be like Minecraft music in the background, like twinkle a, fucking xylophone <laughs> child music to keep you distracted. Ding, 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 ding. A it'll montage like a, <laughs> of your childhood pics. It'll be a, a super conglomerated, be a super conglomerated hologram of Mark Zuckerberg's head made up of billions of pictures from Facebook. But yeah. if your companies are worried about uh, Facebook, uh, go, go in the way of MySpace. Don't worry because in the lead up to Brexit, uh, toilet paper maker stockpiles in case of no deal. Don't say piles. So uh, the, the UK paper. is not going to be short of. Uh, Oh, it's, it's funny. German-owned uh, Wepa is the name. Of, <laughs> Wepa is the name of the company. Has stockpiled an extra six hundred <laughs> tons of finished product, or about three and a half million rolls in a UK warehouse. The UK probably drops about six hundred tons of finished product every year. <laughs> what it. have I told you about bringing up the B word on this fucking show? <laughs> <laughs> now I need to worry. Now I need to crap myself, but needing to crap myself. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. 
Well, think, think about it. Shit yeah. would have been funnier. Think about so. this, mate. Like, look at 1984. Was there no scene where they were actually talking about the toilet paper at one point, where it was like just reconstituted something or other. It was you're like, like mock, sandpaper or something like that. You like mock my recon, but you literally bring me Brexit shit. You still hung up on Brexit. <laughs> I mean, the story of the toilet paper, not really ah, thinly Brexit. veiled yeah. fucking you. Don't say thinly off. veiled when we're talking about toilet paper. That's dangerous. <laughs> Falling on from last week's story. Fall, falling about uh, the K-pop, the K-pop abuse scandal. This is bad Co- as a Jake Paul Korea uh, spy cam porn. Sixteen hundred uh, fall victim and four men arrested Jesus. in South Korea accused of. Uh, for a accused of secretly filming uh, 1600 hotel room guests and selling <laughs> the footage via a website. Yeah. Many cameras were installed okay. in TVs, hair, dry, hair dryer holders and sockets. The hair me- dryer holders? Yeah. What? Uh, the men allegedly earned $6,200. If convicted, they face up to 10 years in prison and a 30 million won fine. Yeah, they were uh, actually selling themselves pretty short there. Like, like seriously. 6,000. That's... You know, you may as well just go into the street corner. You probably make more money in one night. This is going to be a bigger problem in years to come because oh, yeah. uh, cameras are getting smaller and smaller and they smaller even until they can be eventually. like the you know like yeah. a grain of sand. Man, they were fucking your streaming it at one point, but they don't. Stuff, you know? They were streaming them. Yeah, like thousands of folk watching it. Nah, hundreds of folk Aye, watching it. But, time and but shit. apparently they stopped streaming them because too many folk were finding ways to hack their site, hack their streams, so they weren't getting Good. any money from Aye. it. Good. <laughs> but that just goes to prove, though, the true white hat. People say. aren't even willing to pay for porn. <laughs> 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 so. Oh, I thought you meant hack it to take it down. No hack it just so they can watch it for free. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. That's it. You know. Right, what's your recon? Well. As per usual, a quick read at the uh, science news uh, of the it, world. Make it very quick. Spectacular <laughs> pictures from Jupiter's storms. Apparently they're massive, just like they have been for millions of years. Yeah, so news there, eh? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, an asteroid mission. Storms be big and fucking <laughs> on the planet. All uh, right, that's an interesting one. UK scientists growing bacon in labs. That's Do you just want lab fucking bacon? an mm. abomination. Mm. No, I don't. Mm. Yeah. Scienti- Kill it before it lays eggs. Scientists at the University of Bath have grown animal cells on blades of grass. You mean Satanists. In a step, <laughs> in a step towards cultured meat. Cult? So not uncultured meat. It's got meat. the word cult in it. It's also got the word meat in it. Fucking Satanist confirmed. I mean, it's... It's <laughs> about at the end of the world with fucking like, bio-mutant it's, it's, meat. What it's the fuck? good because you don't have to, like... It hurt animals, right? Right, but, so you want the first bacon roll, aye? But yeah, I don't, I don't, I, I don't like the idea of meat that's grown in a lab. Right? That's is, a right, right, sense. Yeah. What's the problem with sense meat? For a scent, it's a bit hard. You know, it's a bit gamey. <laughs> 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 that was I'm not even gonna nah. <laughs> that made you laugh yeah, way too much what's I mean, in your energy funny. drink well, that, that's probably grown in a fucking lab right cocaine I think there's cocaine in there <laughs> <laughs> we, like, we probably, it's just cocaine <laughs> we, we probably eat loads of stuff that's grown in exactly. labs and we don't you know even I mean? bother that, about that, that, that's it the thing, like, don't, you, don't tell me about it yeah, but, <laughs> don't don't think about, think about it this way though I don't mind as long as I don't know this is what it tastes great until you watch the film this is what I found amazing though right Um so the last time this popped up, it was basically it was somebody was eating like a lab grown sausage or something like that, right? And um, <laughs> you're talking about sausage? the question I asked, um, I think oh, it was to oh, I can't remember anyway, but I asked the question of what do you think a uh, what do you think a Star Trek um, food? Oh, for fuck's sake, I actually forgot the name of them. The food replicators. Yeah, replicators. Yeah, replicators. Thank you. Yeah. What do you think a Star Trek replicator? <laughs> Yeah, and I forgot the name of Replicator, right? Uh, he went Star Trek so, blind him for uh, a but, second. <laughs> <laughs> Galaxy is far, far away. Wait, that's not even the right fucking anyway. Um so <laughs> well, what do you think what do you think of Star Trek replicators? Would it be a handy thing to have? Would you like to it's all right like, until yes, it moves around, me blah, blah, from blah, blah. one place to another? Like fuck that's that. a transporter. See, I got it now. It's come back again. <laughs> yeah. well, the, the weird thing with replicators is, is like, so it's there is synthetic nutrients. They're in all it, everything is synthetic. It's uh, it's constructed including of the meat. Fuck all. The meat is not even meat. It's synthetic meat. So when you say 
Would you, what, what would you think of replicator? Oh, yeah, replicator would be real cool. What about lab grown meat? Oh. But it's not so much, no, it's not so much it's synthetic though. No, no, it's, it's, it's like a 3D printer using the no, actual fibres and nutrients. No, just I, like a basic but, set. Yeah, no, that's, it's going it to taste. taste like bacon. It's, it's a 3D yeah. printer. It's no, not it bacon. Bacon. It's, it's, not, like bacon. it's not using meat to print meat. The difference between your robot What's and meat? Synth. What is meat? Exactly. This, it's, it's, it's chemical <laughs> molecules. Now this, this, is, this, is, this was my point. A replicator, the basic idea of it is it takes energy and turns it into matter. It's not going to have a soul, though. <laughs> That's probably a <laughs> good isn't, thing. Isn't that like the crux of it? Like it's just it's exactly the fucking it's same, so except one like had a soul to begin on with. something soul, please. <laughs> <laughs> no, wait, Can I so have something that, that this has... This is not food you know, unless something has died in agony or something like that. Believed that it fucking <laughs> had a life. Yeah. So that I may consume its fucking well, people, animal has died for me. You know, there's probably going to be like an underground group of people who are going to have been eating synthetic meat for so long. There'll be an underground group of people that will just be like, give me the knife, I will kill the cow myself. Underground group you know? that eats synthetic meat? Is that <laughs> no, the name of your fucking... That eats real meat. Is that the name of your fucking erotic fan fiction? Is that the name of your fucking sex Meat and the exploits? synthetic meat. <laughs> synthetic meat or so. The first oh. rule of the synthetic meat eaters club is <laughs> don't talk about it. No, really, don't. It's quite embarrassing. <laughs> you can't because you got a mouthful of synthetic meat. <laughs> oh, <don't laughs> <a> mouth, <laughs> how, lo- how long do we get crisps grown in labs or Mars bars? Though, do you think? Now well, you're just Mars talking crazy talk, son. <laughs> <laughs> I will have none of this talk on my show. Uh, so. <laughs> Yeah, so there's also a dig planned at a rare Neolithic mortuary in Aberdeenshire. In oh, Scotland. a shindig. Awesomeness. Yeah, they're, they're planning to dig go it along up. with a shovel? Uh, oh, they're okay, dig. Possibly. <laughs> um, the other one is in possibly need to get concerned as rogue waves occur less but becoming more extreme. So instead of stealing your wallets, now they're stealing your cars. Rogue waves? Yeah, rogue waves, basically. Um, so when perfectly calm scene and all of a sudden there's a wave it's a rogue wave <laughs> it comes to Nick your yeah. wallet <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck am I missing he got it <laughs> um, he got it fucking a couple of arms reach out the fucking way high enough yeah, but they're now. becoming more extreme now so they're going to steal your car you know and shout fucking MAGA as they run away or some shit I don't know but um, yeah so I don't know where you know we everybody needs to start panicking about more extreme rogue waves. Toilet paper you know, and the, rogue waves yeah. and fucking oh, uh, GDCs and... Um, yeah, there's also a, I'm probably saying this wrong, but Cyclone Idai or uh, Idai or IDAI, anyway. Oh, um, storm tore in a South Africa. Oh, was this a cyclone thing? Yeah, a cyclone that happened. And uh, what was the other one? The land speed record car is relaunched again. Yeah, to try and that's, break it. that's re- really what we need to do. What's that got to. Why? Why is that news? What do you mean, why? Why not? What's what? What better why than to travel it's, it's faster than news. any man has ever I could have read the story about, about soggy online. Ben Nevis. Because it's more important you know? to grow food in but, labs, dude. We want lab-grown crisps. That's more important <laughs> than fucking well, travelling really how, fast. How about a very rare parrot photographed at night? That was news, apparently. Rare night parrot evidence disputed. <laughs> a night parrot. Yeah, somebody with nothing better to do. So, so no, no, it's not even a story. It's a fucking nonsense. Like, the evidence for it has yeah. been disputed. <laughs> Therefore, it probably never existed. So There's a wee like, village that was getting woken up. It was, <laughs> oh, oh, what's that? It's a night parrot. <laughs> <laughs> fucking oh. night parrot. <laughs> um, our bots gaming the cancel Brexit petition. Oh yeah, this right. is no, no. This is, on this, this, is good, this is good though. This is good though. This is one. like the the petition thing and the 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 government petition website. Right, try and say it, but when you, whenever the word comes up, it, it broke you the have website. Cracks it. Cracks it. Like the bloods, you can't say <laughs> B. Uh, no, like the crips, you can't say the B word or anything with B. You just it. call it Brett. It's a nickname. No. You know, it's Brett. So anybody called Brett and has now been Frexit. labeled. It's yeah, Frank. Leaving it. the EU. Fakes it. Fakes it. France eggs, actually. Anyway. Fakes it. Right. There we go. Bots fucking gaming. Oh, the government yeah. website crashed because that many people were signing up for this petition. Yeah. To, to what? To not have, to not to have a second. Yeah. It was uh, signing up so damn fast, though, <laughs> that it was questionable. 
Oh. Yeah, you know that was the problem. You know, usually in data terms, you've got like a small, like twenty millisecond gap between oh, they, registrations they over millions of people. Like, and some computer hackers just like three milliseconds. Boom, it's a big yeah. red button. Some <laughs> Russian computer hacker. Yeah, send in the clones. I never said Russian. <laughs> Don't say Russian. <laughs> fucking hell, we've got to take us fucking off air. Yeah. Also, and um, apparently in Manchester. They've uh, tried to release the driverless bus. They're in testing stages at the moment for the bus without that. a driver. Or I'm getting on that, but I'm making sure I've got adequate insurance first. But, <laughs> yeah, but it needs to come with a driverless clause. You know? <laughs> what happens if it crashes, dude? Yeah. Like, F, it crashes, yeah. <laughs> Does it well, come with The bus is going to see something. <laughs> You're doing the street at 90 mile an hour. Just like, oh, I'll just stop. Better off seatbelts. <laughs> so yeah, the last thing is there's a couple of a couple of random things. That one of the, the headlines was my anorexia really loved Instagram. Hmm. That like really what? Sounds like a name of an anime. To be fair. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was about to say, there's nothing funny about that. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Sounds like, like one of your animes. <laughs> Sounds like one of your CD. Really. Yeah. It, it's animes. like what the hell is up with that? So uh, it's like yeah. Kind of anime now. I'm happy. It's fine. But yeah. Um, also, raids shut down illegal TV streaming gang. So presumably YouTube stuff like that, you know. Legal TV streaming. Oh, wait till it's illegal game streaming. Wait till uh, Google gets undercut with people yeah. like streaming games. Illegally. Yeah, but it's got it's got to be called Google <laughs> with a U and an umlaut. You know, it's got to be Google. <laughs> you know, it's Don't not going to be Google. It's going to be Google. Google. That's racist in some people. <laughs> uh, that about wraps up for episode thirty-seven of the Unbaptizables podcast, folks. If there's any intelligent signs of life out there, don't dare leave any comments below. This isn't a discussion, and no one cares about randoms' opinions on the internet. If you're a returning consumer of our content or a folk virgin, please consider supporting us by subscribing and leaving a rating slash review if you're listening on iTunes. And if you're feeling as frugal as Private Mr. Feudal Geezer, we pound off you over on Patreon. Also, please do check out our channel, The Fog Chronicles, on YouTube. And while you're there, feel free to wave a gun at that subscribe button. I will be streaming over on twitch.tv forward slash the Fog Chronicles at random intervals, so be sure to follow with notifications on or you'll miss out. The Fog Chronicles are part of the Indie Scots Network. Thanks for listening to the only podcast in the galaxy with three aliens that sound like Lewis Capaldi's better ex-pals. Until next time, like he's in the charts. He's number one for weeks. Yeah, he's, keep up. He's not for fucks, he's for Scott. Yeah. Until next time, this has been Captain Privilege at Grandmaster Tech, signing off. Closing hail frequencies, ending communications, and gonna go gamer my gate. I'm gonna go spam our like button with some kind of bot. I'm gonna go and rogue wave at it. Don't tell YouTube you're doing that. I don't. I, don't, I still don't get what a rogue wave is. <laughs> Sorry, education hammer coming out pretty soon. Like. <laughs>